Hello everyone. Hi class. How are you doing today? I am uh, coming to you again from my home and I am so excited to share with you on this week. Um, I am going to be telling you a story. I'm actually going to be reading to you a story. But before I read the story, um, I want you to know that I miss you. Um, your teachers are missing you guys like crazy. We are um, patiently waiting for the opportunity to get a chance to uh, come together again and just hug on you, kiss on you, and continue, continuously um, feed the word of God to you as God has given it to us. But before we get into um, our time together, we are going to have a prayer by one of your classmates who you have not seen in a while. And um, we are just excited um, for you guys to get to see uh, each other this week. So please, um, let's have a moment of uh, prayer, okay? May everybody bow your head and close your eyes. Come here today to talk to the Lord because everybody needs it right now. We have people out of jobs that's going homeless. We have people who's getting sick. We got people that's dying. It could be our family. It could be a friend. It could be somebody you don't know, but we know that they're not getting what we are getting. We're getting life. They're getting death. We got to think about that. If we're getting life, we come here today, Lord, because we're getting life and people are getting death. So we pray for the families that had to go through the struggle of burying their own people or maybe not even be able to go to the funeral because of this. We got to pray for the people, the sick, that has grandparents that have to think about every day that their grandparent could get sick. Their baby can get sick. And that's that's hurts people. So we come here today, Lord, to say, out of all in all this, we need you to get us through this. Because nobody but you, you're the only person that can get us through this. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much, Reed. That was a beautiful prayer. So let's get into the story. As I said, I was going to be telling you guys a story um, that inspired me. And this week's lesson, um, I guess I can just let you know that the story is about God answers prayers. Okay, God answers prayers. And in reading this story, what inspired me was it does not matter the age. It does not matter the situation. God wants us to pray to him. Talk to him, pray to him about any and everything that we need. Okay. So this week, I'm going to be reading you a story about a mom and her two kids. Okay, so let's get into the story. I read a story about a mother that promised to take her children, Ken and Amy, shopping. One Saturday morning, Ken and Amy got up. They were excited because mom was going to be taking them shopping and they thought going shopping would be so much fun, okay? Ken particularly was happy because his mother was going to be buying him a flashlight that he was going to be needing for camp. Ken was going to camp. He was gonna be sleeping outdoors with some friends. So they went on their way and by the time they got to the store, there were already tons of people in the store when they arrived. Ken and Amy found many things to look at. They were so busy looking around that they forgot to watch where their mother was going. 
Where did mom go? Amy asked with tears in her eyes. They could not see their mother anymore. What are we going to do? Asked Amy. I think we're lost with tears rolling down her cheek. Isaiah 41 verse 10 says, Fear not for I am with you. Be not dismayed for I am your God. I will strengthen you. Yes, I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Thank you, Kennedy, for that scripture. Don't cry, said Ken. Mother cannot be far away. Remember, the Bible says that the Lord Jesus is with us always and he will help us. How? sobbed Amy. Ken held Amy hand tighter and said, we can pray to Jesus. Ken closed his eyes and he prayed. Dear Lord Jesus, we are lost. Please help us find our mother. Thank you, Jesus. Amy stopped crying. Ken thought for a moment and said, let us ask someone where they sell flashlights. Maybe mom will be there. So they asked the sales clerk and she pointed over by the door. They found the flashlights, but they did not find their mother. Hi, I'll be reading Psalms 56 verse 3, and it says, When I am afraid, I will trust in you. Thank you, Madison, for reading the scripture. With a look of worry on their face, Ken and Amy waited anxiously. And a couple of minutes later, they saw their mother and a policeman walking their way, walking towards them. Here they are, said mother. Ken, Amy, hey, I'm over here. Ken and Amy rushed towards mother and gave her a big hug. They were so happy to see her. Mother thanked the policeman for helping her find her children. Ken and Amy told mother that they had prayed and the Lord Jesus helped them find her. Mother said, I'm so glad to hear that you guys prayed. I'm so glad that Jesus answered your prayer. Ken said, yes, mother, Jesus is our friend and he heard our prayer. Amy skipped happily after to her mother and they went to the counter. Mother bought Ken flashlight as she promised. We are so sorry that we did not watch where we were going, mother said Ken. We were so excited and we were so busy looking at so many things. I'm sorry too, children, answered mother. I was in a hurry, but I should have noticed that you were not right by me. And I am so thankful to the Lord Jesus for protecting you and answering your prayers so quickly. Ken asked, does Jesus always answer our prayers quickly? No, said mother. Sometimes he lets us wait and wait. He wants us to be patient and learn to trust in him. When they arrived back home, mother took out some milk and cookies and they all sat at the table to talk about their day. Children, when you ask me for some milk and cookies in the afternoon, do I always say yes? Ken says, no, mom, sometimes you say no. Then Amy said, 
Sometimes you say, we can have some later. And I will do whatever you ask in my name so that the Father may be glorified in the Son. You may ask me for anything in my name and I will do it. Now to him who is who is able to immeasurably more to do immeasurably more than all all we ask or imagine, according to his power that is at work within us. Thank you, Keaton and Kaylin, for that scripture and eating those milk and cookies. That is correct, said Mother. I do that because I know what's best for you. It is the same with Jesus. He wants the best for you. So please remember children, Jesus always answers our prayers in his time. Sometimes he says yes, and sometimes he says no. And sometimes he just wants us to wait for the answer. We might think that Jesus does not hear our prayers when we don't get the answer right away. But he always hears our prayers. Sometimes a no answer is better for us. And often it is important for us to learn to wait. But the key is to ask in faith and according to his will. I am so glad that Jesus is our friend, said Ken, and that he loves us so much, added Amy. Ken thanked his mother again for the new flashlight, put it away, and then him and Amy went outside to play with some friends. I hope that you have enjoyed the story and um, I hope that you understood the story. Two kids went shopping with their mom and while shopping, they got disconnected from their mother. They were lost. They could not find their way until they prayed to Jesus and ask Jesus for some help. They ask Jesus to help them find their mother. And after they prayed, Jesus answered their prayer and they found their mother. Though they were once lost, they prayed and they found their way. That's what we do. That's what Jesus does for us, I'm sorry. When we don't know what to do, and it seems like there is nothing that we can do, we can pray to Jesus, and Jesus will answer our prayers. Sometimes it's quickly, and sometimes he doesn't give us the answer that we're looking for. And sometimes he just tells us to wait. So whether you're in a waiting state, please know that God will answer your prayer in his timing. Have faith, believe, and know that God will answer our prayers. I hope that you have enjoyed this lesson. I have enjoyed this time with you. I have enjoyed the opportunity to come into your homes and share something encouraging, something that will help you along the way. Doesn't matter the age. It doesn't matter who we are. We can 
always pray to God. So ending, we just ask that God, you will continue to lead and guide us, direct our path, direct our footsteps, keep us when we sometimes seems like we don't want to be kept. Continue God, looking out for us, protecting us and doing as you please. It is in the name of Jesus that we pray and that we thank you, God, for everything that you do for us and everything that you will do for us. So I ask this in Jesus' name, amen. And until we meet again, students, we love you, we miss you, and we cannot wait to hug you and to touch you and to love on you. Love you. Good night.